EA Sports. It's in the game. Welcome to Tiger Woods PGA Tour 09. We have a lot of new and exciting features this year that will surely make your playing experience the best it's ever been. The stadium course at the TPC Sawgrass. Pete Dye's masterpiece has wreaked its havoc on the players of the PGA Tour since it opened in 1980. Hello everyone, this is Kelly Tillman for EA Sports. Sam Torrance is walking the course with players who are ready to go at the first tee. be happy with this. He shouldn't have any trouble with the lie here. Tiger Woods for par. That's well done for par. On this relatively short par five, the tee shot is crucial. Don't be greedy here, as a drive along the left side will get you nothing but trouble. A long and accurate drive will give you the chance to reach this green in two shots. A layup shot to about 60 yards short of the green will find a flat area to approach from. This one's right down the middle. This is about 200 yards to the green. Maybe just a little bit more than that. Nothing wrong with that swing. It's on the green. And putting for an eagle. An eagle, if this goes in.
Very nice indeed. Yes. A shot requiring a middle to short iron is needed to reach the green on this picturesque par three. The green is two-tiered and slopes from back to front. There will probably be more birdies here than on the other par three holes. Do not go over the back or you're toast. He's posing. It must be good. Wood seems to be up for the challenge of making birdie here, Kelly. Knocks it in to go to three under. The fourth at TPC Sawgrass is a par four that requires accuracy on every shot. A well-struck long iron or fairway wood from the tee will enable the player to hit a middle to short iron to the green. The two-tiered green is very undulating, so be wary when it's your turn to putt. What a rare gem this is. This for Eagle. Makes the Eagle to go to five under for the round. Yes. This dogleg right offers a generous landing area for the drive as it is the longest par four on the golf course. Favoring the right side will give you a shorter approach shot. The green is deep, narrow, and rolling. Par is always a good score here. This looks to be about 100 yards.
This one's headed toward the green. Will we see a birdie? This left for par. Makes it to remain at five under. The sixth hole is a perfect example of target golf. A well-placed drive will set you up for the uphill approach to a slightly elevated green, which slopes down from right to left and back to front. I don't like the looks of this. Tiger Woods with this left for bogey. He can't be too happy with bogey there. A tee shot on the left is preferred for a flag on the right, and a drive to the right not too close to the rough is desired for a flag located in the rear or left. Too far right, and you can be blocked out on your second shot. The wind direction on this hole can make it very difficult to score well. Sam, this one's in the sand. This should be a simple blast out of the sand.
Woods for a par. The longest par three at TPC Sawgrass usually plays into the wind and requires a long iron or fairway wood to carry a myriad of obstacles. The deep, narrow, and sloping green completes the challenge. Par will be very welcome on this demanding par three. Tiger with a birdie chance. No chance that was going in. Trying to save par here. Gets his par. The ninth hole is considered by many to be one of the finest par fives in the country. The most important shot here is your second. Play your second shot well to the right to avoid a blind third shot. To the left, a wandering fairway bunker and large oak trees crowd the small second shot landing area. The green is not very wide and severely sloped from the front to the back right. A long way to the green, somewhere in the 230 yard range, I'd say. There's nothing better than a long walk to the green with a putter in your hand. This for birdie.
Sometimes it pays to be aggressive. That just wasn't one of those times. To save par. Makes par to stay at four under. <laughs> <laughs> 